pretty good. Right. Mr. President, I have before me a letter signed by Pogue, Miller, and Dole. They recommend, incidentally, Pogue and Miller are not back in the United States yet. Who? Pogue. Pogue, Miller, and Dole? Pogue, Miller, and Dole. Jack Miller and Bob Dole. And Bob Pogue. Where did they write it? They wrote it in New Delhi. Mm. And Dole brought it back with him. Bird did it uh, Bold Temple? Uh, uh, I don't think Dole, uh, as nearly as I could find out, in talking with Dole about it, I don't think that uh, Bold had anything to do with the letter. Uh -huh. uh, they had, of course, had been talking with, uh, with Bold. Um, I talked yesterday with McGee. He is back. And um, uh, here's what the letter recommends. And it's roughly what McGee would, uh, would uh, I think, well, I know what he indicated to roughly what he would recommend, that um, we should make available on an interim basis uh, 1.8 million tons. Uh, and that on the interim basis, that it should be moved under the grant rather than the sale for soft currency provision. Uh, title two. Is this what the letter says? This is what the letter says, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you picked the wrong men then. I wouldn't go for that, although I'd just tell them thank them and appreciate their recommendations, and let's submit their letter to the Congress and uh, draft up a message and say that uh, here's what has happened during the years, and we ask that the Congress uh, hold hearings and pass on it, and then let's uh, let's uh, tell them the need, uh, but let's don't get in any specific figure. And uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to do this this way. And uh, if they are urging us to do that before the Congress acts, uh, we're not going to do it. And I think that uh, we can just go ahead and announce uh, today what we'll do for the month of February. And uh, 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 if they've signed up out there, why? Uh, uh, that's something I'll just have to ride with. Uh, the, um, I thought we could lead them better than that. I thought they'd, uh, they could recommend a million or 750 for the next month, and then we could put whatever our permanent program is. But they're running me off a permanent program. I'll just leave it up to the Congress, let them decide what they want to give them. Well, their point, Mr. President, so you have the facts in mind, is that uh, they feel that this amount uh, would fill the gap until the Congress did act on the long-term agreement. They do not suggest that this is a long-term agreement. They do not suggest that the long-term agreement should be a grant that we should give it to them. No, I'm not going to give them any as a no. grant. I'm going to sell it to them, and just like they are, and they're buying from Australia, and they're buying from r planes from Russia, and they're buying every other damn place except they want us to underwrite. I'm not going to do that. Not, not my presidency. Not two more years. You can just tell them that's out. Well, they, they don't really recommend that. Uh, you know, uh, what they do recommend is that you do that. You should do that, and that the sale should be made uh, along the lines that have been outlined in the new PO 480 mm -hmm. on the long-term arrangement. Yeah. And we should make certain requirements in connection with the long-term arrangements. The recommendation is uh, really a matter here, and they don't uh, in any way seek to foreclose the amount. Uh, they indicate that uh, the numbers and the shipping problems and the arrivals are something that uh, we know more about than they do, but it's their estimates that uh, to... Oh, well, they just went out there and took bowls. Hell, that's all it is. That's what your people recommend. It's just, it's just boilerplate, my judgment. And if they can put that through the Congress, they can put it through, but they can do it on their own initiative, not on mine. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to be hijacked and blackmailed and forced to do something like this. Uh, the most I, I would go, if I'd go that strong, would be to analyze every possible source that they have for the, uh, uh, for the month of February and give them whatever is necessary to make up a reasonable allocation for that month, what they've been getting. Uh, well, this this is what we've been talking about, and I gather that, uh, that if we're going to get it there, that's why we got this report. These men... Well, I've never been talking about a million eight hundred thousand tons. 
No, no, I didn't suggest that you have. I said well, you said that's what we've been talking about. I was referring to what you were prepared to do. Yeah, that's right. That's but I was prepared to do it if they recommended it. But they don't recommend it. They recommend the Bowles plan. Uh, they recommend more than you're prepared. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And uh, they ought to know that. So they are they are not... You, you told them that, didn't you? Uh, yes. Mm. I told them that, uh, that you were not inclined to go this far. Yeah. And uh, it's what does Pogue say? Well, Pogue is not here. Where is Pogue?
And then I want to make that resolution just as low as we can from our own testimony. I want you to divide up all the countries, uh, the developed countries, and take their populations and our populations and and uh, whatever other criteria they're they're whether it's uh, uh, their uh, uh, might we don't want to go as strong as we do the United Nations, but I think you said half and half the other day, and work out a program where we say we would agree if other nations will do it, to go into a consortium. And probably we ought to do it through the World Bank or somebody like that, to some multilateral agency. And that we will ask them to pledge this much, provided others will match it. All right, well, let me get this straight now so I've got exactly clear what uh, my marching orders are here. A, we'll... A is to say that uh, if they, if the committee recommends that we we, gi we give uh, 900,000 tons to be shipped immediately so it'll arrive there in February. Mm -hmm. And that they would consider, if Congress hasn't acted, that uh, uh, they, would, they would make another recommendation on March after we have a chance to meet and go with them. Mm -hmm. If what they've said in their letter indicates two months, just say we don't want to two months, we just want one month, and we'll meet with them after they get to Washington. When they, get through, the second month. when they get through touring, we'll go into that later. Very good. But we'll make 450 and 450 now. Good. All right. And uh, today. Right. And that will be about as much as more than we've ever shipped any other month. And uh, right. then I think you ought to tell the Indian ambassador that uh, you better stay away from these papers. If you want to get a goddamn dime, you and the, you and the State Department better quit leaking. But what you better do is to instruct your people that uh, we're willing to meet with the other nations of the world, the other development nations, and do our part. We're not willing to solve it by ourselves. Very good. And uh, then we will prepare. Uh, I'll, I'll go to work in relation to uh, this resolution that we'll have available. Uh, and we'll discuss that later for January. 10th. That's right. And I prefer on the now not to make any amount to say that we will, uh, uh, we will match up to... Uh, uh, we will have a, uh, the resolution uh, directs the administration to uh, purchase enough wheat and enough feed grains to match, uh, uh, if you think that is a proper criteria, that's what you said the other day, 50-50. Yes, it is. You got a better one, uh, to match what the other development nations do. One other question, Mr. President. And I would sure see it's a resolution says, provided that they they do not discriminate in their purchases, that pr they pr pr any purchases they make, that they make a proportionate amount here. I don't think I, I, I don't think it's right for them to give Canada all its purchases and uh, Australia all its purchases, but us to give them all the wheat. I don't either. Well, I would say that in the resolution, and I have I let the congressman know that. All right. If we don't say it, uh, then not ever not anybody going to say it all. Agreed. I'll, I'd be happy to see that. Now, is this satisfactory to you, and can you defend it, and can you base it on their recommendations? If I go 900,000 now, and then we'll have a 900,000 in reserve if we had to, and the Congress wouldn't act. Right. And then we'll have a third, uh, there'll be three possible echelons. We'll act now, we'll talk to them when they come back and see how what the situation is, then there'll be the, the congressional action in terms of the long term here. Then you think the President is prepared, the administration is prepared to do whatever Congress may uh, in its wisdom, decide to uh, do it. And you have said all along that we're willing to meet the other nations, the other developing nations, right. in, uh, in providing our share. And yeah. roughly that share, you've said he might you believe he'd go even 50-50, but you know I'd want to talk to the other nations, and I'd want to talk to the committee. Now you want me to make the announcement? I don't know. I think I'd make it as low as I could. I think somebody ought to give them enough of this background, and maybe you're the best to give it. Uh, I think what I'd do is probably have a backgrounder instead of an official announcement and just say that uh, uh, you're going to get approval from the state and from the president, but this is the way it'll be and there'll be a routine announcement later today. What I'd do is just have my own boys from the agriculture and be especially interested, like your man Phil Potter and uh, Chuck Bailey. They are kind of public relations people for India. And I just have men and say, now, I, I, first thing I do is clear it up with a letter and let them understand that we'll go, that you'll recommend 900,000 tons, 450 and 450 today, which will be more wheat than in February, the short month, and be shipped out today uh, than we sent in January. And uh, much more than we made the, uh, uh, year by 
by year last year because we sent 900,000 tons a month while we'd have uh, 11 million tons. And I say this is an unusually high month, but we wanted to run them through February. And uh, we owe them a little bit, don't we? Don't we owe them about 50 or something? Something like that, yeah. And uh, this will be 850,000 new, plus that 50 that we still uh, have agreed to. But it'll be a total of 900,000. And that uh, we 